the new Whirlpool W collection with Sixth Sense technology that fully guides you to achieve perfect results. Whirlpool, sensing the difference. Yes, welcome back. All the sport is back on at the moment, so you've probably been thinking of the perfect snack to enhance your match viewing experience for you and the whole family, but mainly for you. <laughs> <laughs> so Charlo may have stumbled on the answer with his Mexican chili potato wedges. Charlo, good morning, morning and good Charlo. to see you as always. Good morning, thanks for having me. A pleasure. Uh, yeah, Mexican chili potato wedges. Now, if you don't like the potatoes, obviously it's important to say to start, we can use the, um, maybe substitute them with some butternut squash. Okay, sweet potatoes as well. Very good. Okay. People out there don't like, um, you know, the idea of potatoes. So, again, there is an alternative, okay? You can serve it with rice, couldn't you? you serve it with rice, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, absolutely, Simon. Yeah, pasta as well. So, Lovely. This, this is what, we, what we're going to do. There's three elements to this dish. We have um, a chili, chili beef uh, mix, okay? We're parboiling um, some potatoes, all right? Very good. And then we're making some salsas and we're making some guacamole. So, three or four elements to this dish. Um, but it's a great, and it's a low-budget dish, okay? Right. Really low-budget. It's friendly on the pockets. I'd say under, under three euro per portion Pretty you know much, and with yeah. the expense of the kids going back to school and the, yeah, yeah. And, and the uniforms and you know mm. yourself okay so yeah, what we need for deal. the mince is I'm using um, some extra lean mince 4% fat mm -hmm. great great product because we don't have to strain sometimes when you buy your mince there's a lot of fat in it and you have to strain this takes out the strain and yeah. uh, you know element to it, it takes so the strain out of us you take the strain ah! exactly. go on hit your bell okay, go on so that was a joke <laughs> hit your bell hit your bell <laughs> Joke so, number one. I've just jumped ahead here. I have a hot pan and I have um, some caramelised onions and some beef. So we get that in first of all. We're going to add then. It's like a one, a one pot wonder. One pan wonder. How many will this feed, Charlo? Uh, it's roughly around six people. You and uh, me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you and me, pal. So in, er, all the ingredients go in. So I've got chopped tomatoes. Oh, I've got some peppers. And I've got the three C's here. Coriander, cumin and chilli powder. Now, I've got a tablespoon of each. But I always say, right, a teaspoon of each spice is nice. A tablespoon of each spice is... What rhymes with table? Just the party started, so I'm like, that's number two. That's two, that's Here number two. Yeah. Okay, I never was much good as a poet, but you'd be handy enough, would you? With your, with your, with your script writing. You just don't oh, know. Lord. A bit so of garlic. handy with a script writing. A bit of garlic, yeah. A bit of garlic. Lovely. Okay, a little bit of salt and pepper. And if you're a wuss like me, you can go easy on the chilli, can't you? Exactly, exactly. And there's your one pot wonder. Done. Lid on, lid on, done. Just let that simmer for like, you know, 15, 20 minutes. Okay. And this is your product here. Is it important to brown the mince off first before you put everything out? Exactly. <laughs> to seal it, to brown it. And what you're doing is you're adding the flavour. You want yeah. to add flavour all the time. So there's no point in banging in everything. Get, you know, you yeah. build it. Exactly. Yeah. Parboil your potatoes. So I've just got ordinary rooster potatoes. Morris pipers are great. And when you say These parboil, are... you mean what? Partially cook them? Exactly. Well? In boiling water for like 12 minutes. Okay. okay. Just helps them along the way. Just little wedges. Leave the skin on. Okay. And what, what we can do is I've just taken a few out here now just to show you. I'm going to assemble them on a little tray here. Yeah. Bacon tray so we have our chili mince uh, ready to go here a little bacon tray and if you have time oil. if you have time you can a little spray of oil pop these into a dry oven as you're getting stuff ready right. and you can just help them on the way a little bit yeah okay. what we're going to do here now this is fantastic it's a great oh, dish Lord. so we're just going to get all the chili beef on top ah, of these wedges shallow. this is where we load it <laughs> exactly oh, baby. and you chop the potatoes before you boil them you chop the potatoes yes. before you boil them now here's the thing Aiden a great question Okay, we can, if you have any leftover potatoes, it's great, you can slice them as well. So it's, this is just a fantastic dish to use up your leftovers as Very well. Very good. Preheat your oven to 180 degrees, guys. So it's a little kind of potato wedge platter. A uh, wedge platter, yeah. Mm. And it's nice and it's, it's for a lazy Sunday. We're having a lazy Sunday today, aren't we? We are, absolutely. What do you think? Yeah, little absolutely. guacamole as well. The so we spoke about the that. guacamole last week. Yes. Um, avocados, when you're buying your avocados, they're in a little packet, they say they're already ripe. Don't believe the packet. Don't believe what it says on the tin. Check no it yourself. Right, yeah, okay. A little bit of give. Open your avocado. And the stone. Okay. So Simon, tell them about the stone. Okay. So this is the this is responsible for most outpatient appointments in the hospitals across Ireland and the UK. People trying to take out. Did you hear that? I missed stone. the bin. The bin is like this size. Of yeah, the you missed it. <laughs> yeah. Good job. I you appeared a basketball bin. player when you were a child. <laughs> okay. Well, if it causes so many injuries, we missed you removing it. Then what is the safest way to remove the, the stone? Safest way to remove it. Okay. I have one here. All right. So basically, we're going to. Turn it on the side. The stone is in the middle, so carefully. So you're cutting it as far as the stone. Exactly, till you feel the stone with the and knife. You're twisting. Yeah. And the stone will be in one side. Lay your avocado down with your knife and mind your fingers. You pop it in and then you just twist it. 
and out she pops. Out she comes. Okay. okay. I did that very thing a few weeks ago with the knife and I cut myself. And then you try and get it into there the bin. You go. So you gotta be very careful. There you try go. Try and get it into the bin and Do then rang Charlo. scrape it in, scrape it into a bowl, <laughs> mash it up with um with a fork, and then guacamole, classic guacamole is just lime juice, bit of garlic, salt and pepper. And that's what we're doing here today. We're gonna just do the classic guacamole, okay? Mm -hmm. A little bit of lime juice. Salsa going there as well, Chef, oh, a little bit you? of salsa going and a little salsa with a little twist, Simon, okay? All oh, right. So what I've done is I've roasted the salsa in the oven with some balsamic, a little bit of Wicklow garlic rapeseed oil, Lovely. okay? Just to help it on its way. And, and that's your guacamole. Done. That's your guacamole. A little bit of salt and pepper. Lovely. Don't forget your salt and pepper. Yep. That's your guacamole done. Lime juice, garlic, and avocado. Sour cream we're going to use. I've got these beautiful, beautiful tomatoes I picked up last night in the shop. Lovely. I went down to the shop at nine o'clock and loads of reduced stickers on loads of items as well. So you can get, <laughs> your, get your food yeah, yeah. right down as well, cost wise. A little bit of balsamic vinegar, just chop the tomatoes up roughly. Good quality aged balsamic vinegar. Now, as well as looking different, do those tomatoes taste different yeah, by the colour? Absolutely beautiful. And you know what? At room temperature, amazing. Okay, so I wouldn't be a fan of chilling down tomatoes. I like right. eating them at room temperature. A okay. okay. little bit of um, chopped uh, chilies in here. Again, a little bit of oil, salt and pepper into your oven for six or seven minutes. You had a fantastic oh, chutney, okay? Gosh. Now, let's have a look at these potato wedges. Right, and how long did you do, leave them in there for? These are in for Charlie? 20 minutes. 20 I mean, they're minutes. sensation, okay. look at that. Oh, look wow. Sensation. Should I move these? Shit? So we're gonna to top these now. Oh. How long have we got, folks? Are we okay in time? loads of time. You're, you're all right, Good two minutes of time. So we're gonna to top these now. Look at this, for the color. With the guacamole. Presentation, color. As you said, there's a box of match on. These are great snack, a few beers. Mexican flavors here, folks. We've got the lime, we've got the avocado, the sour cream, coriander. Do you like coriander? Yes, I do. Not yes. a lot. Is coriander that type of thing? It can be a lover hate. Yeah, yeah. Lover hate it. We're going to pop a few coriander leaves on. Look at that. Look at that. Um, we're going to a little bit of, and then we're going to hit it with I'm a little in. bit of chili. Is that creme fraiche? This is uh, this is low-fat creme fraiche. You can go with sour cream if you want. A little bit of chili. I'll yeah. hold off on that chili now, Charlo. Yeah, I'll take it there now, Charlo. <laughs> this, is, this is Aiden and this is Simon, so we'll just go here. He's we'll giving me a lash of the chili. <laughs> no. okay, I still so have another hour and a half of the show to do. I can't to, believe it. Justin, we have to get in, we have to get the vibes oh, well, going. Absolutely. Right. So, what do you think? Right, go for it. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, me, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's all right. Good morning. My aim hasn't been that good this morning, okay? Um, <laughs> so there's your Mexican right. chili potato wedges. I'll just make a oh, quick, quick get... dedication. Yes, please, okay. go for it. Um, a chef and pal of mine, uh, my chef and lifelong companion, passed away suddenly. Ah. Monday, chef Paul Kenny, I'd like to dedicate this dish to his memory and also ah, to his him. family. Ah. He used to watch the show every, every uh, weekend uh, from his hospital bed or from his house. And uh, he used to have great crack. He used to think it was, and he used to brighten up his day, especially when I was on it. Uh, God bless <laughs> him. Charlie, well, so I want to tip, tip our hat to Chef Paul. Tip our hats to Chef Paul. Our sincere for you. condolences yeah. to That's his family. You, my no problem, man. Thanks We're very watching. much for um, for Not that. Not at all. A okay. pleasure. Okay, so um, I don't need that. As, and as I said, as well, it's a low budget dish. Okay, so it's fantastic, and it's a nice way just to use up your if you have Simon. So, mean, if you make a beef lasagna, you have a small bit left over, you can jazz yeah. it up and serve it like that. And way to use up spuds as well. Yeah, there's nothing to treat. There's nothing going to waste. Now he threw my fork on the floor, so <laughs> well you say he did. It was uh, our learning it, colleague a fork here. In the guacamole, you ready? There you go. There we go. Fantastic as always. Crack now, and dish. Thanks, Full folks. Thanks for having me. Cheers, Charlo. Pleasure, Charlo. Full recipe details are up on our website, or as ever, you can check out more of Charlo's recipes on his own website, and that's charlotheshef.com. Right, coming up, he's the king of the waltz. Andre Ryu chats to us next. You're leaving that on? Yes, I am. <laughs> the new Whirlpool W collection with Sixth Sense technology that fully guides you to achieve perfect results. Whirlpool, sensing the difference.